Thank you very much for that. And um, again, uh, a very good afternoon, uh, respected sir and all the scholars present here. Uh, my name is Amit Kumar Rambam, and I will be presenting my second progress report, uh, which is uh, roughly from October 2020 to uh, December 2021. I mean, October 2021 to December 2021. I think I've made a mistake here. And uh, the title of my thesis is Impact of Computer Assisted Language Learning Goal in Teaching and Learning of English in Manipur, a case study. Uh, so before uh, moving on the content of, the, of my uh, presentation, I would just like to highlight a brief summary of uh, my first progress report. So uh, in my first progress report, uh, I intend to start writing chapter one and chapter two. And chapter one is on introduction and background. And chapter two is on the use of technology in ELT a review. So in, do in doing so, I have read uh, a book by Dr. Jintam Daina TV, which is also uh, who is also a, an assistant uh, professor in this department and the name of her book is English language skill in India and Thailand uh, which is which is particularly on writing skills and another uh, PhD thesis by Dr. Sundari Ringbam on the role of ICT in teaching English a case study in paid classes in Manipur and apart from this I have read uh, several related articles and paper which i won't mention here because uh, these things i've already clearly uh, written in my first progress report so uh, let me just highlight the content on, of my second progress report so the first one the first section will be on the books which i have procured uh, and the second will be the seminar or the webinars that I have attended during this uh, during the those time period and the third one is the departmental activities which I was involved and the fourth one is uh, some other academic involvements and the last one is on my future plan for the next three months uh, starting from uh, last week of January So in the first section, like these are the books which I have procured. The first one is Impact of Technology on Education by R.K. Srinivasan. And the second one is on, second book which I have procured is Teaching and Research Computer Assisted Language Learning by Ken Betty. And the third book which I have procured is the APA 7 edition. <coughs> so uh, let me just uh, brief, briefly uh, highlight why I have chosen this three book. So the first book, Impact of Technology on Education. Since the topic of my research is on computer assisted language learning, so I felt the need of knowing what the what technology has done or what are the importance of technology in education either in teaching or learning or it does it doesn't matter whether it is in uh, language learning or teaching it may be on other uh, disciplines or fields so for that purposes before going in depth or being precise on ELT I just want to know what are the roles that technologies plays in education so that's why I have procured this book but uh, I haven't uh, actually finished reading this book. So coming on my second book, which is on teaching and research computer assisted language learning by Ken Betty. I think this book is very uh, important to me uh, per se my uh, research topic because my research is on computer assisted language learning and this book is very particular on Core, which is a short form of computer assisted language learning. So here I I have read this book and I learned how this goal, computer assisted language learning, originated 
the history of it, what are its current status, and what are the research areas that has to be done, particularly in this form. So, and the third book, this APA 7 manual, uh, made easy. So, uh, I think for, I don't know about other humanity uh, subjects such as uh, maybe literature or sociology, but for ALT, APA should be followed. Either some may, some may follow MLA handbook, but uh, as far as my knowledge, I think APA serve uh, particularly for uh, language uh, ELT or in, ling in linguistic subject. So, so these are the uh, what uh, this is my uh, brief um, uh, thought on procuring this trip. So moving on, I have I haven't attended much seminar or web webinar, but. Uh, but, uh, but I just want to say that uh, I have attended only one seminar and the seminar is on the topic Trans-Border Migration in India, Issues and Challenges with Special Differences to Notice India which was held on October 16, um, November 16, 2021 and it was organized by Bethany Christian College at Chuchampur, Manipur. Uh, Manipur. And coming to my departmental activities, I have been involved in uh, conducting MA second semester examination 2021 under the guidance of uh, our HOD professor uh, T.S. Ravan Kumar Singh, which was held uh, during the month of October. And why I mentioned these departmental activities, it may not be related to my research work, but I feel the need of helping the department. So as a research scholar, I think it is our duty to assist on any activities carried out by the department or in the department. So that's why I have uh, briefly mentioned about uh, this section. And my other academic involvement includes uh, being a technical assistant in the in the same uh, seminar which was held at Sushampur. Uh, Manipur, organized by Bhutanian Christian College. I was a participant also. I was a uh, technical assistant in that uh, seminar. And apart, and apart from this, I was also a technical assistant in the online refresher course in English with the title English and Indian Languages under Learning Outcome and Competences uh, Competence organized by UGC SRPC Manipur University, which was held from November 26th to December 9, 2021. And again, like uh, since the this presentation uh, so uh, I, I, I have submitted my uh, second progress report maybe two weeks ago, but uh, like uh, it, it just today that I have given this uh, present presentation. So in my uh, ori original progress report, I have written that I am about to uh, attain this one-day webinar on use of technology in English, uh, supporting them as being their technical assistance. But this has already been done because it was already held in January 9. So I was also a technical assistant in that web in that webinar. So coming to my future plan, uh, I intend to complete. Chapter 1, Introduction and Background, and prepare the list of literature to be used in uh, writing Chapter 2, which is uh, use of technology in ELT review. So this is my uh, brief uh, summarization of my second progress report uh, for my uh, research work. Thank you. So open for discussion. <coughs> Any query? Yes. Bandi, do you have any questions or queries? Uh, I have a question, sir. Yeah. So, uh, so the Amit Kumar has mentioned before that he has been taking more a lot of activities uh, regarding the department and also uh, any other activities, uh, say, uh, organizing of you know webinars right now, this is a course. You see, it's really very hard for 
And I think that's the practicality side of using technology that we just involved in. And, and I think you have a lot more experience and pra uh, practice and the use of uh, application of technology. Uh, so uh, what do you think uh, is the, uh, say, so as to say the um, use of technology in language learning? Uh, what do you think that is it applicable and is it going to be a significant change uh, in the future or does it think that it, uh, there's no uh, difference between like, what you have the practical knowledge of this world and the actual knowledge of Yeah, thank you very much for, that, for your questions. Uh, I just want to say that I just want to begin answering his question by saying technology is the future. Uh, because here in Manipur, we are not we are not able to access a lot of uh, technical gadgets or tools because we lack maybe infrastructure, maybe some that sort of things. But uh, I have read maybe news or some lots of articles regarding the use of technology in European or in Western country, they have, what do you say, they have gone beyond our expectation, right? So uh, we need to follow their footsteps because they are more advanced than us. They have power, money, and in the field of scientific knowledge or in the field of technology, they are much more advanced than, advanced than us. So we have to follow their footsteps and we have to see that how we can utilize those technology that has already been invented by those Western or European countries. So we have to, uh, <coughs> what to say, uh, we have to use that. But uh, as a matter of fact, we in here, particularly in Manipur, we lack that, we lack the infrastructure or we lack the money or uh, those sort of things. It is, uh, it still a challenge for us but we are also slowly and slowly improving ourselves maybe like conducting seminar in online mode maybe two or three years ago like i don't know about others but i haven't heard of it like during my master or all but now with this master student or even high school or even primary student they all the classes are conducted on online so this is also what i say uh, an improve improvement uh, for us so let's see and i i i as i've already said the technology is the future so i believe that the technology maybe in language or in literature or whatever film maybe or discipline maybe it will enhance i don't intend to say that it will substitute teachers human teachers but it will enhance the way the pedagogy or the teaching method or the approaches to the use of technology. Yeah, I think. So I think Lal, you uh, raise an important, you know, relate important question and issue relating to, you know, model. Now this is now relevant in this paper. Okay, can you answer what was the question raised by Lal when while uh, Padini was presented. The problem Padini. of pronunciation yes. and accent. Yeah, exactly. So the thing is that there, like, uh, maybe uh, there is American accent, British accent, and Indian also has ac accent, right? That we call it maybe Indian accent or English or even Mete or even you also have your own accent. Like, accent, though, they will be there. Uh, accent, uh, accent will be there. Whatever English, whoever spoke or what, there will be accent because, like, we are all influenced by MTI, which is American influences, right? So the thing is that we cannot deny the fact that, like, we have accent. But the thing is, if we what to say, like, if I happen to be in Europe, maybe in America for uh, for briefly six months. My accent will improve. I will be speaking like an American accent, right? I will be what is it like uh, speaking like that of a uh, native American. Or if I happen to be in England, I will be uh, having that uh, London accent, right? So the thing is that like here, though, 
here for even the way I speak also I have Manipuri accent and so also but the problem is not the accent the problem is communicable it should be intelligible right no matter no matter what accent you have what your pronunciation may be right or wrong that doesn't matter but as long as it is intelligible or your your, your information uh, can be perceived by others that's the most important thing but like uh, going going a little bit deeper to improve our our accent like since i am um, what to say uh doing my research on the use of te technology so there are lots of app right in the index in you would say if you open a dictionary online dictionary like we have this uh the phonetic transcription of every word right so like it's not easy for us to learn uh, what are these symbols mean? How to pronounce this symbol? That's the world of linguists, right? But for us, if if we open a dictionary or online dictionary, you can just press the uh, like what is it? There is a, a speaker button, right? There is a tab you can press it. You can listen how it sounds in American or how it sounds in British. From that, if we try to learn, uh, if you, if if you carefully listen to it over and over again, then at least it will little bit enhance our the way we pronounce or the way we speak i think that that though we can do but others though i'm not sure how to <laughs> impress them but that's the thing i can do and even like listening to talks right english talk uh <coughs> in, it's youtube is readily available lots of videos are there right english talk listening to them and like uh, watching movies english english movies it will I think improve our accent not to 100% like I'm not saying that I will be able to speak like an American but at least it will you know, improve our the way we uh, the sound yeah okay uh, can I just add one sentence yes um, yeah. the, main reason, the main reason I ask that is um, I always tell my students to maintain their own accent not to be a sham of that Mm. It, it become a part of us, our identity. Mm. Become um, even when we reach a certain literature, so the accent to come across. It become a part of us. It become something unique. Mm. So I always um told them that. So I just want to know the authenticity, the helpfulness of that. That's why mm. I accent. Yeah, that, that's why accent will remain. But the thing is that it should be intelligible. <coughs> if there is, <coughs> yeah. Mm. So this will lead to other you know, dimensions. Okay. Okay, okay then. Amen. Thank you. Presenting who is next?